Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. Oh, boy. Good evening. Miss Kawakami. A teacher and a student. So this sort of thing really does happen, huh? Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. Hello. Thanks. So you really are back. It's only hitting me now that I actually see you. Welcome home. It was clear from the start that you'd be a lot of trouble, but I never expected you to turn yourself in. When I heard about it, I, I kind of broke down. God, can you imagine? I cried like a schoolgirl. Usually I'd give you a written apology due tomorrow, but I guess you had your reasons. So this time, it's fine. Anyway, the real reason I'm here... Homemade chocolate specially made with plenty of love and warmth. Of course, not as a maid or anything, but for me personally. I know I said it already, but... I'm glad to see you're doing okay. We're so busy preparing for graduation and entrance ceremonies. Still, at least that kept my mind off worrying about you. Can I sit next to you? You're going back home next month. That means we won't be able to see each other at school anymore. That's true, I guess. Doesn't make this any less complicated, though. Hey, something's different about you, right? It's not exactly your behavior, it's... Hmm, it's hard to describe. Well, I guess people change. After all, I did too. My students are still important to me. I can fight for them. But now, I've got someone I'd do anything for. I've never really felt like this toward anyone before. I hope he realizes how lucky he is. Let's stay like this just a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> 